So if you've been playing for a bit now, I'm pretty sure you've been running into a few behemoths. You probably noticed that a lot of them actually have some pretty good uh, blueprints and items behind them. Without the right strategy and knowledge, they can be pretty rough though, especially if they are way higher gear score than you. In today's video, I will give a few tips that will make it so much easier to deal with behemoths, drones and turrets as well. So let's get started. The biggest tip to make it so much easier is to play the class Panther. If you watched my video yesterday when I talked about the classes more in depth, you probably remember I talked about Panther's unique skill item called Cloak Spray. The Cloak Spray makes you undetectable to all drone types, which also means behemoths and turrets. The duration is one minute and you can carry up to five of those. So if you use it correctly, they can't see you for five minutes. So if you're only after the loot chest that the behemoth is guarding, you could easily just cloak spray yourself and run and grab it. When fighting the behemoth, even if you have a cloak spray, I would still recommend that you keep yourself at a decent range, especially with a sniper, because he can still run you over. You could get a bit closer of course and use a LMG, I think LMGs and snipers are the best weapons for this. Other useful equipment is rocket launcher, since hitting the behemoth with it will stun it and also do decent damage. If you are a bit closer though, you can use the MP grenade because that stunned the behemoth as well and it's quite a long duration. When you're fighting the behemoth, you want to make sure that you hit the weak points, which are the glowing parts. Also when behemoth is firing the rockets, it opens up a weak point in the middle, so you want to focus that one. The behemoth have armor that covering the spots, so you would have to destroy those before it can actually put damage into the behemoth. If you don't want to play panther, I think sharpshooter is pretty nice because of the skill technique called armor buster, which boosts the sniper damage even further. There's also one perk that I think is a must have if you're fighting behemoths or drones. It's called Rolling Thunder and it gives you 20 weapon damage and 20 drone damage while using a sniper. And that's like one of the main reasons why I recommend a sniper for this. If you're fighting a lot of smaller drones though, you could consider Drone Hunter. It will give you instant HP back when you kill a drone. I don't really use this one at all though, but if you for some reason are farming drones, it could be useful. But that's basically it, just thought I would make a quick video covering this because I didn't know that the cloak spray actually worked against the behemoths, which kind of surprised me because it's so good, so hopefully these few tips will help you guys out a lot because it did for me. But anyway, see you guys in the next video.